What's good, y'all? It's your boy Reggie from HBCU Spotlight. Before I get into this video, I want to give a special shout out to Coach Walker. I got part of my content on here from him and also from Cut Day Sports. But y'all know Cut Day, the man with all the dang on highlights and whatnot. Make sure y'all subscribe to him and also Coach Walker at Tomorrow's Leader Sports Network. He got some good stuff on there. Make sure y'all go check it out. Link's in the description. Chip! Hey, Savion, let me bring you on in, brother. How you doing this evening? Hey, how you doing? Thank you Fantastic, for having me. Man. Hey, I appreciate you coming on to the show. How's your day yeah. been so far? It's been great. Every day is great. I'm alive. Can't complain. Indeed, indeed. Hey, like I was telling them, I like I was telling everybody, you always positive, man. You always got a positive word that's going up every day. I really love that because you know what? You don't really see that too often with a lot of individuals. There's always something chaos or crazy right. going on. And I'm like, just seeing you do that, it, it, it really, it really, you know, it, it warmed my spirit just to see something like that. I got, I got to give you your prayer. I got to give you flowers on that, brother. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs> so other than that, tell, hey, break it down for me. Tell, tell me, tell the people a little bit about yourself, sir. Well, I'm a, re I'm a very private person. I don't really like the media too much, but um, I play football. I like to read. I like write music. Uh. You know, I'm into trading and investing and stuff, so that's what I really like to do in my spare time. Okay, so read the Bible, of course, you know. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Reggie from HBCU Spotlight, and I'm back with another banger. As you can see, 95% of the channel's viewers are not subscribed. So hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you will be alerted anytime that I upload a video. Without further ado, let's get into it. This is the story of yet another trailblazer who is out to bring black colleges back to prominence. This is the story of Savion Wilkerson. In his lone season as a member of the Hornets, he performed well for a true freshman. In his first season, Wilkerson was the team's leading rusher. He had 946 rushing yards and eight touchdowns. Delaware State was five and six this season and was tied for the best record the program has had since 2013. Savion Wilkerson was one of the key figures in Delaware State having one of his best seasons in the last decade. But the talented running back will soon be looking for a new offensive line to run behind as he's entered the transfer portal. Wilkerson made his transfer announcement public on Wednesday afternoon. I truly appreciate Delaware State for giving me an opportunity and I will miss the brotherhood that I have formed with you guys. I'm grateful for it all and even more grateful for what's to come. With that being said, I have entered the transfer portal with three years remaining of eligibility. Wilkerson led the MEAC in rushing attempts as a freshman with 220 while finishing second with 848 rushing yards and eight touchdowns, both behind fellow rookie sensation J.J. Davis of Norfolk State. He was named first team all MEAC along with Davis on Tuesday and is a finalist for the Jerry Rice Award given to the top freshman in FCS football. Just a few weeks before Wilkinson's announcement, Delaware State head coach Rob Milstead made a mention of how the transfer portal hadn't been particularly good for his program. I can't make a kid stay in my program. I can do everything I can to treat him like I treat the other 104, he continued, but there's no guarantee that kids are going to stay in the program and continue to trust the process, which I will say all the time, it takes time. Now that that's out the way, it's time to get into the real reason you're watching this video. I just want y'all to know this, I've been doing my research. I've been browsing all over social media to look for signs on which way Wilkerson is leaning. On his Twitter, he talks about being a devout Christian, which is similar to a particular coach. 
He also liked a few tweets about Jackson State. This may mean nothing, but the Tigers are currently last in the SWAC in Russia. Savion made an instant impact as a member of a program with nowhere near as much talent as what is in Jackson, Mississippi. So I'm sure he thinks he can just slide right in and be a part of a hot program with the coach that shares his values. He will also stay at HBCU. And he will get a fair shot to see the field early. And he will get great exposure. Thanks for watching the video. If you made it to the end, type in come on over in the comment section. I want to hear y'all's opinions. Do you think that Wilkerson joining the program is a good thing? Or should Jackson State go after a big time high school recruit? If you enjoyed the content, please subscribe, leave a like, and a comment. We're on the road to 10K. From us, over here at HBCU Spotlight, rooting for you, Wilkerson, and looking forward to seeing you shine in the field. We out of here. Peace.